Hey everybody, we're going to be doing a tutorial on Server 2012 R2 mapping a share folder on a client computer using group policies. Uh, we will be covering how to create a share folder in the server, how to create a group policy object, how to link a group policy object to an organizational unit. This will be done hopefully using a real life example. We will create a share folder for all users on their general organizational unit. And we will create another folder for specific users in a sub-organizational unit. That will make more sense in a couple of minutes. Alright, so let's get down to it. We are going to create a new folder that will be shared. This will be the uh, general folder. So, for example, let's say we have somebody named Ron and he has a puppy that he loves very much. And he wants to share his puppy pictures, but he also wants other users to be sharing their puppy pictures, other client users to be sharing the puppy pictures. So let's call it a uh, bronze puppy pictures. Okay. Then we're gonna right click on the folder, share with specific people, everyone, add. Since he wants everybody else to be able to share this, we have to give read and write permissions. Share. This is the sharing address. I'll show you in a minute how to get it if you don't get it from this point. So we go done. So now this, for all arguments sake, if we were to put the path, the network path to this folder in any client of this domain's uh, server, we will be able to see this folder. But we want this folder to be created automatically uh, for all users within a specific organizational unit. Um, so let's go to manage, uh, sorry, no, let's go to tools. Let's go to uh, Active Directory, users and computers. And let's also open up, uh, what is it? Group policy management. I usually run these parallel to each other because this one right here will show me all the organizational units with all the uh, computers with all the users this on the other hand is where we'll, we, where we'll be creating the uh, group policy object and linking it to the organizational units but in these organizational units you're not able to see who's in it so who it, it's actually affecting so we'll run them parallel. So let's get started. So we will highlight under the group policy management, we'll highlight the group policy objects, right click, new, and we'll call it Ron's Puppy Pictures GPO. I like to keep it, keep the names descriptive. So in a later date, you know what they are for. You go, okay. If we expand the group policy object, we see the run Ron's puppy pictures GPO was created. We highlight it, we right click it, we go edit. Here there's a whole spectrum of things you can do um, from setting group policies for computer configuration and for user configuration. This will be a user configuration. So we'll go to preference, we'll expand it. We'll go to window settings, we'll go to drive maps, double click it, we'll go here and right click new map drive and we get this. Under the general tab actions create, oh sorry, create location. Right here if we go back to the folder right click it and go to properties under the sharing tab we see the network path we copy it and we go OK we paste it and we'll give it the letter Z we also want to make this drive um, show on all for all the clients so show this drive no changes apply OK 
So now we see that under the drive maps, we see the Z drive uh, in the path. We'll close this. Right now, if we were to open any of, if we were to log on to any of the, compu uh, the, the uh, client computers using any of the users, such as John Smith or Jane Doe, you wouldn't see anything. You wouldn't see this drive because we haven't linked it. And I can show you that just to put you at ease. This is a client computer. I will log in as Jane Doe, put in my password. Jane Doe is logging in. We go to our desktop. This is a Windows 8.1 Pro box. We click on this PC and you see there's the network drive hasn't been created. So now let's just close and get back out of this. So let's log Jane Doe out. Sign you out, Jane Doe. Uh, we'll go back to our server. And now we need to link this. So we want everybody in, uh, let's say, in everybody in the New York office to have access to this folder. So, so we want basically uh, all the users that have been actually this do in the Manhattan office. All the uh, users in the uh, Manhattan office. Uh, to have access, so that would be John and Jane to have access to to this GPO. So we got to link it. So we go to New York, expand it, Office Manhattan, right click, link existing GPO, select Ron's Puppy Pictures GPO, and click OK. If everything's done properly, this should now take effect. We will open up our XP box again. Go to Jane Doe, type in our password. Give it a second to uh, load up. Also keep in mind that when you're doing this, if let's say for example um, Jane Doe is already logged in, you will have to log her out in order for it to uh, take effect. Uh, what's going on? Okay, there we go. We boot, we uh, shoot up again the uh, this PC, and there you can see right here, Ron's puppy pictures. Okay. We can also write to it if we want. We can add stuff to it. So let's say new text. New pic. This could be a picture. I'm just writing a simple text file. Uh, so if we go back to our server, you can actually see it on our server as well. Let me show you that. Uh, let's see. Uh, right there. See the new picture right there. Also, so you see that was Jane. We will log in John so you can see that he has access to this as well. Sign out Jane. Let's go to other user, global mantics, J O, password. Let's sign in J O. Open this up. Let's see if he has access to it. And yes, he does. It's right there. Okay, but now your boss comes to you and says, I love what you did with the puppy pictures. It's great fun. Everybody's enjoying it. But you know what? I want just the marketing people, the marketing sales users, sorry, the marketing users to have access to a marketing stat folder. Uh, that you'll create and, and you'll put files into there and they can put files in there as well if they want. So let's go back. Let's create this folder. So let's go new. 
folder we'll call it um, marketing stats we'll right click on it share with specify users ev oh, everyone add give it the permissions to read and write so they can add and subtract from it share this is the path and we're done okay so now let's create the group policy so we go back to group policy and management we go to where is it group policy objects we right click we go new and we'll call it marketing stats GPO okay uh, as you can see we have it right there we highlight it, right click, edit. This is the exact same thing we just did. So nothing has changed from the previous portion of it. And we go to preference, window settings, drive map, right click, new map drive. We need to create, we need to define the location. So let's get that location again. Properties, sharing. We have the location. We can copy or control C, whichever you prefer. Okay. And then here we can right click and paste or control V, whichever you prefer. We'll define this as drive Z. We want to see this. Apply. Okay. We see it's been it's been added here to the drive maps. Okay. So now our boss specified that only the marketing users should have access to this. So that user should be John Smith. So Jane Doe won't have access to this. So we go here to this part. We go to marketing users. We right click. We link an existing GPO. And we select marketing stats GPO. We create it. And just for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to add a new a new text called first marketing okay so now let's see our compute let's see our XP box nothing has changed we're still under we're still with John Smith and you said I thought you said that John Smith should have access to this folder but also remember that I said you gotta log off when you've made a change and log back in so let's log off John Smith sign off let's sign him back in Wait for this to open and we should have it there. And there you go. We have marketing stats. We can click into it and we have finished marketing. But let's just make sure that I was right and that only John Smith has access to this. So let's log off John Smith. Sign out. And let's sign in global mantics slash J A Jane Jane Doe Go. So Jane Doe should not have access to that marketing stat folder. Let's see. And I'm correct. She only has uh, access to Ron's puppy pictures. And there's a new picture. Okay, well that's it for my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm pretty sure there's people out there that have other ways of doing it, can probably do it faster, quicker, and better. This is the way that I do it. Um, leave your input. And until next time, thank you and uh, happy networking.